But first, padlocks. They're used all over the world to protect everything from homes to businesses. But if they're so hard to break, how do they put one together in the first place? Here at this padlock manufacturer, they start with the body. These heavy-duty steel bars weigh 25 kilos each and are incredibly strong. They have to be cut into 8 centimeter lengths by a saw with a powerful blade. Crates of the cut bodies are then taken off to the other side of the factory for the next step of the process. All of the elements have to fit perfectly or the padlock won't be secure. They're going to be drilled so that the locking mechanism can be fitted. It's done by machine to make sure that the holes are exactly the right size. To make the padlock arms, steel bars are fed into this machine where a powerful press bends them into shape. The steel bars are moved along to another machine, which drills grooves into the side of the arm. Later on, these will anchor the arm in the body until the key is turned. To strengthen the padlock, it's baked until it's red hot. Then it's rapidly cooled. This process makes the metal more flexible and therefore less likely to be snapped or shattered. After a quick wash in soapy water, the next step is to make sure the padlocks won't rust in the rain. They're submerged in a bath alongside green sacks full of nickel dust. The nickel has been given a positive polarity, so when the padlocks are set to a negative polarity, they attract the nickel dust which forms a coating. Then, the nickel-coated locks are given another rinse. To galvanize the steel, another layer has to be added, this time of chrome. They use the same method as before, and when they have a chrome coating, the locks are waterproof. It's time to build the complex locking mechanism. Here, keys are cut and a code is assigned to each one. This seven-digit number assigns each padlock its specific locking mechanism, of which there are 10 million combinations. The lock builder constructs each mechanism using the corresponding numbered rings that match the key code. The locking mechanism consists of two elements. The first is a pair of ball bearings. These two ball bearings sit next to the barrel and in the grooves of the arm. When the key turns the barrel, they slide into it and the arm is released. The next element is a pin on the side of the barrel. This ensures only the correct key will open the lock. When the key is turned, the discs rotate and line up to form a slot for the pin. If the pin doesn't fall into the slot, then the barrel can't be turned any further and the lock stays locked. Once completed, the whole lock is sealed shut.
Then each lock receives its arm and an outer covering. As padlocks are often used outdoors, they have to be able to withstand the harshest weather conditions. So they're tested at extremely low temperatures, below minus 40 degrees Celsius. It passes the test with flying colors and is one very secure padlock.